Routine phaco emulsification surgery. Main incision is being given at 11 o'clock. Now, one side port is being made at 1 o'clock. Now, Tripan blue dye will be used in this case. And before that, a big air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber. I do not want the dye to come in contact with corneal endothelium. Now the dye is used like this to stain the anterior capsule of the lens. A direct Simco cannula is then used to wash the dye out of the anterior chamber. This plastic substance is then used. Then one side port is made at 8 o'clock. Now 26 case bent cystitum is used to incise the capsule and raise a flap like this. Then a uterator forceps is taken to hold the flap and make a continuous curvilinear capsular axis in this way. Now once the capsular axis is done, the capsule is separated from the lens matter by hydrodissection in this way. In this particular case, hydrodissection is being done at two points. This is another point. Now the nucleus is fairly mobile. Now the phaco emulsification is started. This is direct chop. The nucleus is divided into several fragments by direct chop. There are different ways of making fragments and the fragments are emulsified. And this is the epinucleus. Once the epinucleus is removed, viscoelastic substance is used to maintain the entry chamber and the cortical matter which is there is removed. Now an IOL is implanted in the capsular bag. The leading haptic goes into the capsular bag like this and the trailing haptic is then placed into the capsular bag. And that's it. Now the side ports are hydrated. The side ports are hydrated so that leaking doesn't occur and a final wash is given. That's it. Thank you very much for watching.